Okay, we're jumping a little bit ahead now until uh, uh, at least the list 1940 or 41, and that was Grandma Hecht with my sister Carol, who was born in 40, and also I believe the World's Fair was in New York, Flushing Meadows, about the same time. They had a lot of engines there, which of course fascinated me in this particular fancy diesel engine. I later had in my train set at home, and to this day have a model of it. That was a th the rage of the times, big General Electric diesel, in, uh, diesel, no, not diesel, just electric engine. There's another modern one of that era. I guess you're allowed to go on board, so I'm on board a fancy passenger car. Can't read what's on the side of that one. That's an old steam engine. Here's some more scenes from the World's Fair. We're going to see them, a few of them coming ahead here. You've got to remember as we're making this CD that World's Fair was uh, like 69 years ago. This was quite the stuff in those days. And there was a few monkeys in the fair too. This is one of them. In a few minutes, you're gonna see a whole island of monkeys chasing balloons around with banana tied to it. For some reason, Grandpa Rudy loved that. Oh, this is the parachute ride. Not, not my favorite. But was there and then uh, later I think it went to Coney Island in New York they towed you up to the top and then released you and away you went Whatever that item is, I think it's called an obelisk, but anyway, that was a symbol of the World's Fair. And here we were looking into one of those mirrors that distorted your body. Take note here, there's not 50 stars on that flag. I guess this was a, a replica of Independence Hall in Philadelphia in the early days of my boating. This is a quick trip down to Manasquan, New Jersey, with Grandpa and my sister Carol, and you and I, right on the boardwalk, which is where we used to go in the summer for two weeks when we were lucky. And then we jumped back to the World's Fair. National Cast Register display. one-legged goose, and here's the monkeys. Looks like Aunt Jo there, with Donald, my cousin. Up oh, there's Aunt Jo and Donald. Aunt Jo was a kindergarten teacher, and she lived with the Grandma and Aunt Mary. Aunt Mary worked in New York, and those two ladies never married. Take that back, Aunt Mary got married at an old age, 
when she was living in the old lady's home down in Asbury Park, New Jersey. There was Donald and I in a cab of some kind of engine, probably again at the World's Fair. Why did they keep sticking hats on my head? I hate hats. That was in Grandpa Lindauer's backyard at his Airedale Patsy. She liked to play tug of war with rags. Grandpa Lindauer had a big rose garden in his backyard and he had a, a fish pond that he had goldfish in. In, in. in New Jersey anyway, the rose garden was uh, beset with what was called Japanese beetles. And he'd go, he'd go chase the beetles and throw them in the in the fish pond and the fish would eat him or else he'd get a jar of kerosene and tap the flower on the jar and it'd go into kerosene and that was the end of it. But you'll see him in the rose garden here in a minute. Here we go. I think that was the beginning of roses in the family. Grandpa loved roses. Grandpa Roger had roses. Grandpa Rudy had roses as Grandma Gladys and Grandma Gladys's mother in a neat hat. 1911 is not the date of the film, it's the date the bridge was built. As Patsy. So there. This, this apparently is the best we can figure out is the Bambergers Parade. It's not, not the Macy's Parade in New York and it's in, in a town with, with a lot of trees along the road. But I guess it was one of the annual parades that came around on Thanksgiving time. much compared to the Rose Bowl games that we go to today. Family's been lucky. Many of us have been to the Rose Bowl multiple times. Back door to Tracy's office now is right on Colorado Boulevard and you can watch it from a patio outside her office, which Craig and Christy and Lori have already done and maybe Sherry and I will get to do it later. Probably a long parade, just be glad that Grandpa didn't take pictures of the whole thing. sand in a reindeer. Hopefully that will signal the end of the parade. Oop. Back in Maywood. A 
Ferdinand the Bull was the name of that costume. Wonder what they're giving out. Probably apples in those days. Nobody was giving out quarters. 